Hi everyone, welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the geometry regions. So here's our last question. In quadrilateral A, B, C, D, E and F are points on B, C and A, D respectively. And B, G, D and E, G, F are drawn such that angle A, B, G, A, B, G is congruent to angle C, D, G, C, D, G. So these two angles are congruent. And A, B is congruent to C, D. And C, E is congruent to A, F. Prove F, G over here is congruent to E, G. So I'm just going to highlight what we want to prove congruent. We want to prove F, G is congruent to E, G. So to do that, it looks like we would need to to say that triangle FGD and triangle BEG are congruent to each other, and then we could use CPCT to prove that. But before we do that, it looks like we need to prove this other set of triangles congruent first, um, triangle ABD and triangle BCD. So that's gonna be our plan here. So, so just to outline the goal of the proof we're gonna make, we're gonna prove Prove triangle BCD congruent to triangle BAD. Then we're going to prove triangle FGD is congruent to triangle BGE. And then finally, that's when we can prove FG is congruent to EG by CPCTC. So let's start by writing our statements and reasonings. So first, of course, let's write out all the given stuff they, they tell us so we have so everything they say right here. And the reasoning for that is just that it's given, so that's easy. So now we can start looking at our, our triangles, B, C, D, this big triangle, and then this other big triangle. B, A, D. So this kind of splits these, this parallelogram in, in half. So first you can notice that side B, D is equal, is congruent onto itself based on the reflexive property. So let's write that out. B, D is congruent to B, D. And this is based on the reflexive property. So already we actually can prove these two triangles congruent because we were given this side and this side. We have a side, we have the, the angles we were given, and then we have this other side. So we can right away say that triangle BAD is congruent to triangle BDC based on side angle side. So I, I just re ordered the letters a little bit B C D B A D but these are this is exactly what uh, we were set out to do. So now we can start looking at our other triangles and try to prove those congruent. So now we want to focus on these little triangles B E G and F G D. So what are some things we can say about that? Um, if you notice we can say that these two angles are congruent to each other based on CPCTC of the other triangles we just proved congruent. So let's put that together. So we have angle GBE is congruent to angle, so GBE and now GDF, angle GDF. And this is based on CPCTC. Concrete parts of congruent triangles are congruent. What else can we say? Notice we have these two angles right here, these vertical angles. We know those are going to be congruent to each other also based on vertical angles. So angle BGE is congruent to angle FGD. And this is because of vertical angles. 
And then the next part's a little tricky. We're gonna be using um, some segment addition and segment subtraction. So we're gonna start off by talking about those original, that those first triangles we proved congruent. So we're gonna talk about these sides here. So we know that BC is congruent to, so this little side is congruent to this whole side AD. And we know that because of CP, CTC, from proving those other two triangles congruent already. So we know that that whole thing is congruent, this length and this length. So because of that, we know that BE plus EC is gonna be congruent to AF plus FD, right? So let's write that out, BE plus EC is, con is congruent to AF plus FD and this is based on segment addition. From here we can now say that BE is congruent to FD based on segment subtraction because we know that EC is congruent to EAF which we already stated earlier. So, so let's write that out. BE is congruent to FD. So yeah, uh, we could say that BE is congruent to FD because we already stated that EC and AF are congruent based on segment subtraction. So now, notice we can, we can prove that these, tri these two triangles are congruent, the smaller ones that we just marked up by angle, angle, side, because we have this angle, this angle, and then this side, angle, angle, side. So let's write that out. So we have triangle BEG is congruent to triangle FGD, and this is based on angle, angle, side. And now lastly, we can finally prove what they want us to. Um, FG, our high, original highlighted pink sections here, we can finally prove these two congruent and say that FG is congruent to EG and then this is based on CP, CTC, congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that's the last question to our regents. Uh, I wish you good luck. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!